So I wanted to show a little bit about how you might grab a 3D model from Sketchfab or TurboSquid or any of these sites that offer sort of free and paid um, models, which um, you can always filter by free if you're looking for them. In this case, I made the very simple search of Egypt and came up with some pretty decent models over on Sketchfab. And so I'm going to download this guy, which I've already run. And, um, and all you have to do is select the model you want and then go down here and just do download 3D model. And that will run and sort of open up this option. And oftentimes you'll see either FBX or OBJ. And both OBJ and FBX are great for bringing into um, Unity. You may run into some other issues for other, pro other um, formats. So those are the two sort of recommended ones, but you can... Um, there's a little bit of leeway, and there's always converted versions that you can um, find converters online. Um, but for today, let's keep it nice and simple, and we'll focus on OBJ. Um, and it's really quick. So you run the download, you hit download, which I've already downloaded. So I'm just going to jump right over to my um, folder, and you'll get a zip file. And if you're on a Mac, you can just double click to unzip it. And it'll give you a couple, like a folder with a couple folders inside them. And inside some of these folders are other zip files and an image file, that kind of thing. Um, so I just recommend just going through and unzipping everything um, as you go through. So it looks like we have our OBJ, our material file, and then an image file, which the material is probably built off of. And from there, you can take it over to Unity and just go to Finder and grab this whole folder and drag that in. Um, into your assets under your project. Unless you see that little um, plus sign, it may not import correctly. Um, so let it run. And so it'll drop that entire folder in here and you can just double click it and um, you can go through any of these, but my recommendation is you just jump straight through source. Oftentimes it'll show up like that. And from there, you'll have this object. There's the object, the material, and then the texture that is applied to the material. Um, really, you only need the object, which will oftentimes show up with sort of this nested look um, of, of the... Um, the material and the map and the, the and everything involved and so you can just drag it in from there and remember you can click anything in the hierarchy and hit F um, which occasionally works um, sometimes I find that I have to hit it a couple times. Um, sometimes they'll come in sort of facing in strange directions all you gotta do is just click it activate the rotate tool and it looks like the actual um, anchor point for this is all the way down here uh, so you can just grab the rotate tool and rotate it around uh, if you can want to be precise about it you can hold down control and that looks about right and so now we have it on here and once you shine a light on it it's gonna sort of have all the texture that you're hoping for um, and so it's as easy as that there are some other um, complications that can happen um, which you can feel free to reach out to us if you run into any problems and we'll help walk you through in any specific uh, things that come up for you.